Gamerber76. Hello everyone, I'm Gamerber76 and this is my 59th ever video. And today I'm doing a dollar store makeover. Yippee. With this star and this mug. Ooh, cool, right? I only have two items because all the others are like the other two things I have. I have plans for different seasons and times. So, can't think of anything else I need to say in the intro, so just go to painting. So starting with this mug, it's white and some sort of fragile material, but it's plain, so I'm gonna fix that. Starting with peeling off the sticker. Nice. So now I'm gonna go wash it real quick. Done. You may wonder why I washed it after I started recording. Well, that is because I wanted to peel the sticker off on camera, and if I washed it first, it would be wet and unsatisfying. Now what do I paint on it? Oh, Jeffrey, where did you come from? Wait, now I have a great idea. So with a mechanical pencil, I started to sketch out Jeffrey's face, but you can't really see it. Getting Jeffrey back so I can sketch the spots exactly how they are on him. Just real quick, doing all of the sketching. And I got my palette so I can mix the lighter color of his fur. Starting with the color vanilla, then adding some orange. Then with the back of my brush, not the bristles, I mixed those colors together. I added more vanilla because I thought it was too orange. That looks pretty good, gotta make sure. Okay, yes, it matches. Now it's time to put it on the mug. And I got my brown so I can color his spots. But I'm starting with the line down his forehead, then his snout, and then actually doing the spots like I said. Then I got my giant tub of white to do the whites of his eyes. Now I used the brown for the ossicone tops. And I poured out some pink so I can paint the inner ears and the nose. Then I started to use black to fill the pupils and lining it while being out of frame. Anyways, the bottom says number one boss. I feel the need to say it because you can barely see it. This is what it looks like all lined and stuff. So now I got a fine liner because I don't like working with black paint. It's very annoying. Then I signed it with the pen. Then I noticed how the ink wipes off, so I tried to do it in paint twice. But then I gave up and decided to hope the ink doesn't come off. Now I real quick want to fix up the areas that aren't fully opaque. But now I have to mix more of the color. Now I'm going to finish up the touch-ups. And that looks pretty good, so I'm going to get my matte Mod Podge. It's only the matte one because it's the only kind I have. So I poured it into a palette so I can apply it to the mug. I actually added a bunch of coats off camera because I did not want it to chip at all. Here's a quick video of the finished product. It looks a bit dirty because I somehow got a bit of brown in the Mod Podge, but I can't fix it, so oh well. And next up is the star. It's made of wood with rough edges, but I can fix that. There's also this string, but I don't actually want to hang this anywhere, so I'm gonna cut it off. So I grab my scissors and snip snip it. It's off now. I got my white paint tub because I'm going to do a white base coat. I did like two strokes, then I remembered I wanted to sand this first. So I closed the tub for now, then brought in my sandpaper, which was far too rough for this scenario. So I made the wood texture worse. So I could have just skipped it, but it's too late. I feel so stupid. Now I'm actually painting on the white base coat. I touched up the sanding a bit, then I finished the base coat on this side. And then I flipped it over and oh hey, it's fully base coated on this side. Now that the whole thing is a lovely shade of white, I grabbed my puffy paint in the same shade. Very hard to find the specific shade. The reason I got the puffy paint was because I wanted to fill those holes on the top. So I squeezed a glob of paint into the hole and then smoothed it out with my finger. And I flipped it over to do the same thing again. I had to do a few more coats, but off camera, because we don't have time for that. Also, the acrylic was matte and the puffy paint was shiny, but I don't care because I'm adding more paint to it. So now I got a purple, a yellow, and more white. Starting with purple as the base color, then I added yellow to desaturate it, and white because I wanted it to be lighter. I added more yellow because I wanted it to be more desaturated. Now that I'm finally happy with the color, I painted the whole star in that color. I had another coat, and oh hey, the other side too. But we're going to stick to this side for now. With the same pencil as earlier, I started to sketch in some clouds. Nice and fluffy. 
and on the other side too. Now back to the front, I wanted to sketch one of my characters, starting with my baby Stitchy. He's my baby because he's my favorite character. I sketched out Stitchy on top of this cloud and he's sleeping. I'm making sure to make all of the patches correctly because it would be disrespectful if they weren't. How do you feel about the Stitchy? Yes, you do, Stitchy, but get out of here. Ah! Now I got Violet, and I'm drawing her also sleeping. I had to look up how does a lizard sleep, because I've never actually seen one sleeping. Then I got the two nameless elephants. I want to think of names for them, but I just thought of Sack and Mark. How do we feel about these names, or should I come up with other options? <laughs> I'm drawing them differently than how I originally designed them, because they're sleeping, and you don't kiss when you're sleeping. At least I've never seen anybody do that. Now get out of here. Why am I always so aggressive with them? Bye. Anyways, now I got my nervous penguin and of course drew him sleeping on the last available cloud. And I'm going to mention that I drew his scarf untied because it untied while he was sleeping. And I said that was the last available cloud, but I lied because there's one more on the other side. Maybe he's not actually that lucky. I am sorry. Now I grab Mr. Mango and his son, of course, and I put them on the biggest cloud because whales are large. Yes, I said whales, not narwhals, because they are not actually narwhals. I drew Mr. Mango first, then little Mango on top, and then you can go. And then you guys can go. Oh, hey, Biscuit, how did you get here? I guess I could put you on the star, too. Gotta have a classic. I don't know if he counts as a classic, but he is to me. Okay, you can leave for now. Hey, it's Jeffrey, the second time today. Still angry? Yup. Of course I'm drawing him sleeping, because that is the theme here. And he still looks angry while sleeping. It's his resting boss face. Then I brought in Floss, who is Carl's little sister. Of course she will be sleeping. You can probably tell I don't know what to say while doing the sketching. Then I flipped back to the first side and got my white to start filling in the clouds. I also added some little wispies. I filled in Stitchy's white bit, then stop, I have to make some pastel colors. Starting out with six pools of white, and of course adding a different color to each pool. And then mixing them. And that's good. Now that I have my colors, I started to color in Stitchy, and I'm sorry, but he's definitely my favorite on the entire star. I didn't even use a reference, I just like it. He looks way better than he did on that sign I made. Then I brought Violet back because I wanted to use her to use a reference for colors. She used mostly pastel purple, which is very similar to the background color. I sort of desaturated the background more. Then I brought back the potentially nameless elephants, or Zack and Mark if you want those to be their names. I got some orange, some neon pink, and some neon orange as another option. Then I dipped in the neon orange and went to the paint the orange one. Then I decided to mix the two oranges together because he doesn't look very neon, but he also looks a little bit neon. Then I repainted him with it, and I thought that was better. Then I decided to go and add some red to the neon pink, and also some light pink, and that looked good. So I painted the pink one with it, but I got my head in the way, so I blocked it. Then I brought in my nervous penguin and some brown to paint him, obviously. I also got some vanilla for the stomach slash face spot. I painted his beak yellow, then I used red and green to make his striped scarf, and then real quick painting the feet with my fine liner. That's not really Patrick, why I write Patrick? Now I got my normal purple, so I can fill in Violet's details. Then I dipped into mixed pink color, so I could use the details on the orange elephant. And then I did the same but opposite on the pink one. As you may have noticed, I didn't color Violet's flower, so I colored the petals in the normal purple, then I had to mix a dark purple for the center. I started with blue because I ran out of black paint, and I tried to just make it more blue. Then I just added red to it, because when you mix just red paint with just blue paint, it becomes a really dark purple, and I thought that would work. And that, act and that actually looks good to me, so I used it. That's all. I noticed the Nervous Penguin brown color was not opaque enough, so I coated more on. Also the scarf too. I also did some touch-ups on the elephants. I was mostly just doing this while waiting for the paint to dry. Now that that's dry, I flipped to the other side and the clouds are already done because I was out of frame while I was doing it. Anyways, I started this side with mixing an off-white-like color so I can paint Jeffrey again. With the same brown as earlier, I did his spots and stuff. Then I got some blue so I could color in Mr. Mango and Lil Mango. <laughs> I also did their white tummies. 
Now with the pastel orange that I used earlier, I started to color in biscuit. Then I got some yellow straight out of the bottle to fill in the lemon goo on his tummy. Then I colored in floss with the light blue and pink. This is when it's dry and off camera I added the mango chunks on the ice cream and Floss's spots. Now I flipped over to the other side so I can line everything. I brought in this pack of paint that my friend got me for my birthday two months ago just so I could get the gray that I thought was black until I read it. I don't know why I thought that because it looks gray. I got this to fill in Jeffrey's suit. Now that that's filled in, I lined everything on this side. Then I got some pearl white because I wanted to add some stars, but I decided that I wanted them to be more silver instead, so I mixed some gray into it. And that was too dark, so I mixed some more pearl white into it, and that looked good. So I put many stars on both sides. Then I got my Mod Podge to seal in my art. I didn't do quite as many layers as I did on the mug because it's not going to be handled as much. And this is the final product. This side too. Yay. Um, that's over. I'm kind of worn out right now. I just, I just spent literally all day writing my script and like cleaning my room and stuff. And it's late on a Friday even, so. Anyways, here's the final product. This is definitely my favorite side just because stitchies on it. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and goodbye.